Manila, Reuters, Philippine authorities were on the lookout on Monday for a Malaysian who could be the new leader of pro-Islamic state groups in Southeast Asia, security chiefs said, following the deaths of several high-profile regional extremists. The army terminated combat operations in southern Marawai two weeks ago after killing what it believed were the last remnants of a rebel alliance that held parts of the lakeside city for five months. Following the country's biggest security crisis in decades, troops have made significant gains in the week since they killed Isnilin Hapalon, a leader of the Abu Sayyaf group and anointed Emir of Islamic State in Southeast Asia. His assumed deputy, Malaysian Mahmud Ahmed, was also believed killed, as was Omar Kahan Mat, a top operative in the alliance. We are still looking for Amin Bako, Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana said, describing the Malaysian as the likely new successor as the Emir of those terrorists. More than 1,100 people, mostly militants, were killed and 350,000 displaced by the Marawai unrest, a crisis that shocked predominantly Catholic Philippines and led to unease about Islamic State gaining traction in Muslim parts of the island of Mindanao. Police Chief Ronaldo De La Rosa said he received similar information that Baco, an expert bomb maker, had assumed the role of Islamic State's point man. Experts say Bako was trained under Malaysian militant Zulkifli bin Hir, alias Marwan, who was killed in 2015 in a clash in marshlands in Magandaneo province that left 44 police commandos dead. The information that Bako could be in charge came from an Indonesian arrested in Marawai last week, Della Rosa said. Despite declaring the end of operations, troops are still fighting some holdouts hiding amid the ruins of a city battered by months of air strikes. Troops have since killed nine gunmen in Marawai, Colonel Romeo Bronner said on Monday, emphasizing why residents were being kept out of the pulverized battle zone. Bako was reported to have been killed in Marawai but intelligence sources said he had fled. He could be somewhere on Holo Island or in nearby Magandaneo, an army colonel familiar with Islamist militant groups in Mindanao, told Reuters. He said Bako had been in the Philippines for a long time and had links with regional extremist group Jema Ilamia. He was married to a daughter of a local militant sub-leader. As early as 2011, he was facilitating movements into the Philippines of funds, arms, and fighters from Indonesia and Malaysia, but his links to the Islamic State network were not known to be strong, another military intelligence official said. He said Bako was in a position to take over because of his familiarity with extremists from various groups in Mindanao.